Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Tech here. Today we're going to be looking at these new fans from Arctic. They are P14, PWM, PST, ARGB, 0 dB, which means 0 decibels. Fans. Whew, that was a bit of a long winded, but basics are they are RGB fans, as in the light up, nice and pretty, and so forth. They are zero decibel, which doesn't actually mean that they're silent when they're running. It, what it means is, is they can actually turn themselves off so the fans aren't actually spinning when your machine doesn't need them to spin. So, obviously, that's relying on your motherboard's PWM. So, it gives you a rough idea. So, we've got links in the description just below if you're interested in purchasing these. And also, if you click those links, you'll also get the latest prices. Before we go on to the main video, if you would do us a favour, click that like button, subscribe, click the bell as well. And that way you'll get notifications of new videos and live streams we do. Again, doing all these things helps support the channel and helping to support the channel allows us to release more videos, better quality videos and more content exclusively just for you. Onto the box, as you can see, it's the Arctic P14 PWM PST ARGB 0DB fan. It says Arctic on there, as we said, it's got a addressable RGB, which basically means you need a three pin five volt connection on your motherboard or controller to get this to work and it comes with a six years limited warranty as well which is pretty good for a fan because obviously fans can wear out and so forth otherwise it tells you at the bottoms all the different software it works with for example or a sink and stuff like that otherwise that's it for the box it's quite an attractive looking box you can see what you get it black and then obviously the multicolor is a lot better than arctic's older boxes on the side you've got barcodes so not much really to see but it does say there that they're carbon neutral or yeah carbon neutral company which is pretty good and i must admit from a lot of the packaging we've seen from arctic in the past uh, they do very well with that without the uh, extra plastics and stuff on the back it gives you a online manual so rather than include a manual in the box just scan that it'll take you to the manual you don't have to mess about with loads of paperwork which you're probably never ever going to read anyway and it's multilingual and they can update it and so forth whenever it's needed and then you've also got a support qr code as well how simple is that in this day and age why other manufacturers can't do the same on this side it's got some specifications on there as well just gives you a rough idea but otherwise it's pretty much it for the box you do have a free fanned box version so a multi-pack so it's got free fans and it doesn't uh, come with a controller or hub or anything like that so basically it's just a brown box and tells you what's up what, what's in there so there's nothing too fancy again it does have a qr code but uh, it's nice to see that you can buy free fans together which works out a little bit cheaper than buying free individuals Okay, there's two types of fan packs. You've got the single fan on its own and a value free pack, which obviously comes with free fans. The fan colour is black. Obviously, the RGB bits, well, they light up in different colours depending on how you want it. It's got 12 digital ARGB LEDs inside the actual fan to change colours. It also runs in zero decibel mode, which basically means that the fan stops at standstill when it doesn't need to be running. So if the machine's cool, it will stop running, hence making no noise. You've got maximum smoothness, minimum vibration, so it's got a decent motor in there, as well as anti-vibration corners for where you screw it in. Optimised for high static pressure which basically means that it's ideal or ideally suited for use on heat sinks radiators as in water coolers and filters rather than high airflow but again it would still pr work pretty well for airflow but again it's designed mainly if there's an obstacle there like a radiator the fan goes between 0 and 1,900 RPM, and that's controlled via the PWM PST, which is basically the connector on the motherboard, and then your motherboard controls how fast it needs to go. It's got high-quality bearings in there, so it's got Teflon plates, impellers, all your usual stuff. 
Okay, so this is everything what's inside the box. So, well, in reality, there isn't much inside the box other than the fan and some screws, which do come in a plastic bag. Uh, I would like to see a way you could probably put them in the box without having a plastic bag. But again, that's uh, very minimal. They haven't put a plastic bag around the fan. So, yes, very good there for packaging. And again, no manual inside the box because you scan the QR code on the box and that will take you to the manual on the website. Not that most people will probably need one, but that's how it goes. I would have liked to seen probably black screws to match in with a fan, to be honest, rather than the silver ones. And on top of that, I would have liked to seen some which were a bit longer, which you could use to screw into a water cooler. Maybe a niggly thing that, to be honest with you, because if you've got a water cooler, you've probably already got the screws anyway. But still, it would be nice to have the option there. And again, in black, personally, I would prefer, especially when you've got a black fan and generally nice. 99% of cases these days are black with an exception of a few which are white okay so as you can see the fan is here it's basically the frame is all black with the exception of the rubberized parts which is for your anti-vibration for your screws which is more of a gray color you've got some big swooping blades there's five blades in total a lot of fans these days you'll see some with like up to seven blades on them sometimes even 11 but this has only got five blades but the way they make it is nice big swooping blades so they can sh uh, shift a lot of air basically you do have their logo on there it does look like it is a sticker yeah that's a sticker on the actual fan there so i don't know if that's going to peel off over time but in theory it should be okay obviously around the edge of the fan you can see here the actual fan is connected to this plastic ring what goes all the way around which is actually quite good because that means when it's shifting the air all the way through it's not getting stuck in all the little grommets and holes on the actual frame so it's allowing it to push the air through without any obstacles so it's basically just pushing it all the way through which is pretty good to actually have the frame the plastic around the edge spin as well and obviously that means that bit can actually light up as well as the blade. So it's all connected as one. So it can increase, hopefully, the colors or what the colors look like on the actual fan. Looking sideways on, isn't much to see. You can't see the RGB through the sides or anything like that. Maybe be nice to have a few little cutouts on the side so you can see something from side view. But again, niggly little thing. On the back, obviously, you're going to be able to see the RGB on the reverse side because obviously the fans are there and they all light up. So you should be all right. But the reverse looks pretty similar. One thing which is sort of good and bad at the same time, it's uh, either or, is that the two cables come out at separate locations. I can see why they've done it. So they can actually keep the actual frame or these parts here quite thin rather than having one really big one which could disrupt the airflow. They've basically put them through, so one through each, so they could keep them small, which in reality, if you're able to keep your case tidy and so forth, you shouldn't be a problem because you should have that side of the case or the side of the fan against the back of the case, which you're not going to see in or reality or theory anyway but it would be nice that they were coming out at the same side but again i suppose it's one of those things you either love it or hate it depending on the design but saying that the cables are 40 centimeters long that's both cables 40 centimeters long and then there's another 10 centimeters where you daisy chain it so you can connect up another fan in there and uh, another rgb device to that so that makes it pretty pretty good you've got plenty of length there there shouldn't be any issues and that's pretty much it from what it looks like we're going to plug these in show you what they look like the free pack is completely identical it just comes with free fans uh, and free lots of screws so there isn't anything real extra in the free pack other than probably you get it a bit cheaper because you're getting them all in one Okay, so we've got the fans in here. We've put four fans in total. They're all 140 millimeters in the game. They're the zero decibel Arctic fans. We've not put any other special fans or anything else in the machine or RGB with the exception of the RAM because it's the only free RAM we've got at the moment because we want the actual RGB effects of the fans to obviously shine through and so you can see those rather than being distracted with all the other stuff. So it gives you a rough idea. So rgb wise effects really depend on your motherboard or your controller or even your case depending on what settings you've got on there 
but you've got usually quite a few different settings. They all work as they should. They all sync up as they should. There shouldn't be any issues there. As you can see, this case gives us quite a few different variations of different lighting effects and so forth. Uh, and you can see even the whites look really white, the greens and everything looks as it should. So the colors are very clear and very precise. So I don't have any issues with RGB effects on these. They don't bring anything really new to the table other than being nice, clean, crisp and clear. And they've got 12 LEDs in them compared to some fans, which may only have eight, which can make the, the coloring seem a little more, a bit more jerky and a little bit less precise and probably a little bit duller. So these seem to be absolutely fine, to be honest with you. I don't have any issues. As you can see, there's lots of different effects you can have depending on how you want it. So there we go. Now we're going to go on to doing a sound test to give you a rough idea. Okay, I've got my microphone in my hand. That's what this little black box is. It's a wireless microphone. And we're just putting it next to the case so you can hear what the airflow sounds like at normal room levels. And again, the fans on this are running at 50% speed, so it gives you a rough idea of what they would sound like. So I'm going to put this right next to the case. So that gives you a rough idea. Bear in mind the only other fan we've got in there is a CPU fan, which is on extremely low setting. You can't hear it. And the power supply fan is turned off because it's under a certain wattage uh, down to the design on there. Again, these fans will turn off if you have it set up where they are going really slow. They will turn themselves off. And obviously that's down to your motherboard's PWM settings and usually in the BIOS. But as you can hear or not hear, they are very, very quiet for what they are. But again, it's not zero decibels when they're running full flat out. It's zero decibels basically means that the fans are able to turn the cells off or go into standby or whatever you want to call it when they're in low usage or the machine's running really cool. Okay, in conclusion, what do we have? We have some really nice fans with some nice features. It's got some decent RGB, you can see from the front and the back, which is really good. Obviously, these ones are aimed more for radiators than airflow. We've used them for airflow, basically just to show you what they look like. But obviously, you would normally be putting those to something like a radiator water cooler or a CPU cooler or something along that lines. But they do look very nice. The only catch what I've probably got with these is probably that the free pack doesn't come with a controller, but then again, it is priced quite aggressive. So again, it's one of those things is if they put a controller in there, they would have probably had to charge more. So you are getting what you pay for, which is pretty good. And you've got the individual packs available as well. Obviously they do have other sizes available as well. They do a 12 centimeter or 120 millimeter versions. And I have just seen them announce a white version of the P12 version, which I'm guessing they may potentially do the same for the 14, but again, I'm not confirmed on that one. But there you go. So basically, what can I say about them other than them doing what they should? They are fans, they light up, they are very quiet, and well, we recommend them. Thank you for watching this video, everyone. It's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams. It does help support the channel, and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you, and also better quality content going forward. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.